Good morning. <laughs> Do I sound like a true vlogger, guys? Um, so today I'm gonna be recording myself. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with the video and how everything turns out, but I'm gonna be doing birria de res, and I'm gonna tag and give credit to the recipe that I followed from YouTube, um, and I will review it and give you guys my feedback and what I think it's it is. I think this is obviously a dish that has been around for a very, very long time, but I'm just like, the videos that people are posting, the way they eat these tacos with the cheese tacos, or the birria tacos, they just look so good. Right, Fernando? Bad boy for life. <laughs> so we'll see what it comes out of it. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, right now I have my water boiling. I have another one on the side that I'm gonna start with as well. I went to our local store and I was able to get, um, so what I'm, the kind of meat that I'm using is I'm using, um, Beef, uh, boneless pot roast, or carne para barbacoa. That's what he said would compare to the chuck roast that's in the recipe. And then also I have I was uh, beef bone, so that it would close the water, mijo. Beef bone, or hueso para, el hueso para darle sabor al caldo también. So, es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. Vamos a hacer este, birria de res y los tacos de birria con queso y el consomé. So, a ver cómo me salen. Y les vamos a dar review a la recipe um, de la que, la que estoy. Vamos a darle a este, el review. A ver cómo sale la. A ver si sale buena la, la receta. Y a uh, la que seguí en YouTube. Ok, so aquí tengo ya todo listo. Vamos a empezar a echar a todo a la, al agua. Ya tengo el agua. Eh, estaba hirviendo, pero lo tuve que bajar porque todavía no terminaba todos los ingredientes. Pero ahorita va a empezar a hervir. Uh, pronto, pronto. Y aquí tengo más agua caliente que ya está hirviendo. Esta es la cazuela que voy a usar. Y ya tengo todos los ingredientes. So, la receta que estaba siguiendo es para 5 libras. Yo tuve, yo voy a hacer 7 libras y media, o so tuve que ajustar la receta un poco. So, aquí tengo mi cebolla grande, tengo mi cabeza y media de ajo, las hojas de laurel, el chile guajillo, las zanahorias, el Ah, el chicken bouillon, este es el que estamos usando, el sazón de pollo, la cucharada de sal y aquí tengo mi carne. Ok. So voy a empezar a echar todo. So eso es todo el huesito todavía, lo que estoy echando. Este sí tiene menos carnita, pero tiene así grasita. Y luego aquí va otro pedazo de hueso. Y más hueso. Okay. So ahí van, esos son todos los pedazos de hueso. A ver si me van a caber en la cazuela. Ok, so este es mi primer trozo grande de carne. En la receta no se veía que hiciéramos algo con la carne ni nada, sino así, así lo voy a echar. So, este es el primero. Este es el segundo. El mother of all of them. <laughs> y este es el grande. Ok. O so, así se ve mi cazuela ya. Obvio se va a tardar un poquito, está caliente, pero va a tardarse ahora con la carne fría, se va a tardar en, en empezar a hervir un poquito más. Ok. So aquí en la cazuela lo que le vamos a echar va a ser una cebolla. Ella le, a uh, la receta que sigo le echo una cebolla también grande. Uh, y yo le iba a echar una cebolla y media, pero esta cebolla se me hizo bastante grande y se me hace que va a cubrir lo suficiente de sabor. O so, ahí va la cebolla, un ajo y medio, de, una cabeza y media entera. O so, ahí va. Quince hojas de laurel. 
y ella usa cinco zanahorias, pero como digo, es, um, la receta es, me, es más. So yo voy a usar cinco zanahorias para empezar y luego le echa otras cinco al final, pero yo voy a empezar con una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Si cuento bien. <ríe> una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Con seis desde el principio. No las estoy picando porque no sé si... Ellos uh, en la receta o en el video se lo comen así como estilo caldito. Uh, no estoy muy segura. Nosotros estamos, más bien la receta la queremos para los tacos, pero también se veía muy rica el, en el caldito. So, vamos a calarla de las dos maneras y se me hace más fácil este, piscar las zanahorias de, es, entre más grandes que estén. Al cabo van a estar blanditas y van a estar fáciles de picar por la mitad o, al, o el tamaño que necesitemos para el caldito. Uh, son cuatro cucharadas y media de consomé de pollo. Y una cucharada de sal. Voy a echar lo que me sobró en el platito. Okay. Voy a tratar de sumir todos los ingredientes. Okay. y también lo que me gustó y se me hizo rico es que cocinan los chiles guajillos a la misma vez con la carne después se sacan los chiles para licuarlos y ponerlos en la licuadora y que para terminarse el consomé pero así ok Le voy a echar poquita más agua, nomás para que esté bien tapada la carne. Ok, so aquí le vamos a echar un poquito más de agua. Le estoy echando del sartén que tenía aquí aparte ya hirviendo. imagino que con el, el agua o el consomé quiere ser uno un poco generoso porque es lo que se usa para, pues sí, como el caldito, el consomé para los tacos. So quiero que me, que me rinda, que me sobre y que me quede bastante. Okay. Aquí, so ya, va, ya está empezando a agarrar donde va a empezar a hervir. Y agarrar un hervor más, más rápido, más fuerte. La vamos a tapar, la cazuela. All right, guys. So I do have to run out to the store. I'm going out to Myers to buy a coffee grinder or something. So basically what, um, oh, and so that I, and sorry guys, I know that I'm just, this is my first video. So, um, the recipe that I'm following is for the YouTube channel views on the road. Um, so I will tag them or I will figure, I don't know what I, how I will do it, but I'll make sure that they know that I'm using their recipe and I want to give them full credit that this is coming from them. Um, so with that being said, I just wanted to make sure um, that I'm following the recipe step by step and she does what this chili oil that she has and I have all the ingredients and I have them like in, a lot of these ingredients are like pantry um, staples y los, los encuentras en tu, en tu cocina fácil los ingredientes que tenemos que voy a usar para hacer el um, es como un aceitito de chile que le vamos a echar arriba de la birria y todos los ingredientes los tengo pero si sí tengo que ir a la tienda y traer este es como una maquinita, me imagino, para moler, para moler todas las especias y que queden un poquito más molidas. Y luego la vamos a, lo vamos a echar en aceite bien calientito para, no caliente, pero bien caliente para que este, agarre el sabor de todas las especies y las, el chile. So, con eso vamos a regresar, pero en este momento sí tengo que ir a la tienda porque lo único que me faltaba era esa, esa maquinita. Fingers crossed, este, ojalá que lo encuentre. So I'm just getting here to Myers now and I already forgot my face mask. 
So right now we're in Illinois and like I said, we are mandated. We can't go anywhere. No podemos entrar a ningún lado sin nuestra máscara. Lo con estos aretes que me puse. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Like I said, I just got to Myers. We're gonna walk in. I won't be recording in there because we're trying to make, you know, be as safe as possible. I have my Myers bag so I can shop and scan and touch as little things as possible. All right, guys, I am back. Went to this, like I said, I had gone to the store to buy the um, the mixer, the grinder. So I just bought the Bistro Electric Coffee Grinder. Um, so I will keep you guys posted. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna use it and what I'm gonna grind with it and all the ingredients. Um, but this is for the chili oil. So this is, I mean, it's spicy because it has a lot more chili in it. So this is to kind of give it that extra touch. And then you use it also to, um, fry your tacos with it. So, can't wait. Hoja de laurel, or the bay leaf. We're gonna do oregano, which the oregano, she uh, puts it in on, its, on the side. She doesn't grind that. Um, then we're gonna do the chicken bouillon, which I forgot. And my kids are in front of me making fun of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Put it up there, Maddox. Put it up there. What is that? A blob, right? A blob. Okay, now do the same thing with his now. Zoom, get it close, and, and he's going to stay. He just turned off my phone. No, what? Turned it off completely? No, what happened? <laughs> But and then a haircut over it's here. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Give her your phone. Switch it inside. No, no, no. Hey. What? You guys already zoomed in. Turn to the side. No, I'm being done. Side view. Side view. Side view, Maddox. <laughs> I have my, pa my plate all measured out here. So I have my black pepper, uh, pimienta negra, mi clavo molido, mi oregano, chile de cayenne, la azúcar, y el chicken bouillon, mis chiles, y the bay leaves, las hojas de laurel, okay? So everything goes in there except the two chile in the grinder. I'm gonna put everything in the grinder. Um, except the two chiles that are for infused and the oregano. I saw that she added that separately, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the um, grinder. I've never used a grinder before. So um, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start with the bigger stuff. It's a really small pocket. So I'm thinking I have to start with the small stuff and then it works itself out. So I'll cut this. And then for the chiles, I cleaned out the chiles that I have with the carne. I cleaned the seeds out as much as I could. But in this case, since everything's getting grinded, I didn't feel the need. Um, so, and I did, I don't, I didn't see. I mean, her stuff was already in the recipe that I'm following. She had already grinded um, all the spices. So I'm assuming that um she might have another so depending on how this comes out she might i think she might have another views of the road has another video specifically with the chile but like i said we decided this this morning to do this this morning and we kind of went to the store brought everything that we needed right then and there um and just so it, i'm just gonna try to and then she did recommend that we do this um, even a day or two in advance that it helps infuse the flavors. Um, so I wanna get it done as soon as possible um, so that we can let it sit and rest by the time the, cause we're hoping right now, what time is it, Yahaira? 1.38. 1.38 already? 
Oh my God. It's already 1.38 and we're trying to have these ready or be eating by four o'clock the latest, okay? All right, here goes. I already added some chiles in here, so here goes. Kind of how it looks. Grinding everything up. Okay, so I put in like three chiles. This is what it looks like already. Hers was grinded even more. So, like hers look like powder. I don't know, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you know what? I haven't added all my powdery stuff. What? Like I haven't added my powder spices. Look how fancy she did it. You can't even see. <clears throat> huh? How fancy I was? You did. It's the thing. Oh. I did show them my plate already. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> She's talking about how I have my everything's like what all measured out on my what little plate. Uh right there. That's fine. That cabinet's okay. Alright, so here goes some more chile. So this is what the chile actually let me try to fit this other one in here. <clears throat> All right, so this is what the chile looks like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my top and put it in there. All right, so at this point, the grinder is very small. So I ended up having to take, you know, even more, like more smaller pieces of the chile and break it down a little bit more and then add one or two or three pieces at a time. So it was, um, so it's, it's not, consuming just because once you get it in there it does grind it up pretty fast but you do have to go um with a lot less uh pieces at this point um so just little by little at this point until you can get it all in there everything will fit um at the end i'll show you guys where everything fits so don't worry about it not fitting everything went in there perfectly fine and we'll be able to um give it a good grind yeah todo junto and it'll work out perfectly fine so don't worry about that so right now, out of my, I'm gonna add the black pepper, the clavo molido, the sugar, the garlic, the cayenne pepper, and the bouillon, and everything basically that's on my plate. Pablo, come here. Okay, so I'll add poquito, poquito. Hers almost even changed to a color like an orange or color. And I'm assuming it's going to be because of the chicken bouillon and the garlic, the white, the white lighter color. go back and I have to um, look her the actual host of her channel like her name because um, her ch YouTube channel is views of the road or views oh my god you had to look it up views on the road or views of the road I don't want to be giving nobody the wrong credit here huh Views on the road. Yeah, so views on the road. Um, that's the recipe that I'm following, the channel. But I want to get, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get her name. She had, oh, choose, look at her description. And I think her name's in there, like the actual host. Um, I don't know why I remembered, but she has, um, I think it's her sister that helps her do her videos and the editing. Her name's Stephanie, but what is in front of the camera? <laughs> Can't remember her name. Yeah. No, those are the ones that I'm using for later. Thank God for my little mini assistant. She's helping me clean up all the stuff that I had on the side.
Okay, so this is kind of how it's looking. Hers was getting there, so I'm gonna, um, hers is still, I feel like a, it looked at least a little powdery, more powdery. Other wood, wood ones, so I can put this. So I can put this in there. Yeah, yeah. That's my daughter bouncing her ball around in the background. I don't know how you guys all do it to keep all these videos quiet and. Because my kids are 14 and 13 and they don't listen. I work from home and they, like I swear, they choose the worst meetings to make, be the loudest on. Like there's some meetings that I they're internal. So it's like, okay, you know, they understand that we're working from home right now. But there's some meetings that they're not going to care. And those are the meetings they tend to be the loudest on. <laughs> A lot of this is going to obviously dissolve with the hot oil that we're going to cook it in. So, oh my god, this smells really spicy. Smell it, yeah, yeah. That's not... mm -mm. my brother and my mom are going to love this. I like spicy food, but not the way they like spicy food. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, this looks pretty much like how she had it. So it's nice like this. So I'm going to pour it into my bowl here. Sorry. I'm trying to see if I can get you guys to see what I'm doing here. Okay, so. Oh, my God. This looks like a lot more than what she had. I'm going to have to go back and double check my recipe. Or were my chiles too big? Did, did you see the ducks? So I'm using the spatula here so that I don't, basically I'm not losing anything in there. How do you even clean this? Oh my God, now I gotta go figure out how I'm gonna clean this. Okay. So I have that there. Her little bowl was so little. Oh my God. I'm getting everything off the top. Okay, so this is what I have. That's a lot. This looks like a lot compared to hers. And then even, all right. I might have to go back and review this portion of the recipe because this really looks like a lot of chile for me compared to, cause I only doubled it and it seems like a lot. She had it. Oh, but it smells so good. All right. I'm going to take you guys really quick. So an hour and a half later. Okay. So I have the chile now that's really, the oil, I'm sorry, that's really um, hot. And you can tell because it's bubbling around the wooden spoon. That's how she tested it. Um, so what she did is that she literally took um, the chiles guajillos these right here and she dropped them in there and you can see that they're kind of infusing in a sense the the oil oh my god so this is a quick in and out it's just kind of to get that like I said in and out they're charred get them right back out so the oil did turn a little bit more of a darker color 
So here comes the actual chile part, okay? So she takes her chile, dump it in here. She has a nice four cup, um, like measuring cup, and it's clear and you guys can kind of see what's happening with the chile, but I went with the white one. I don't have a clear one that's that big, and then I went with this white one and we can see the red chile that she keeps talking about. Here's our, our oregano, okay, and our chiles are put away. So basically what she does at this point is she pours the chile in here, the oil in here. Enough. Oh my god, guys, this smells so good. I always used to make fun of those people that are like, oh, it smells so good, and you're talking to a, three, a TV, but it really does smell so good in here, guys. Oh my god. So this this oil, this chile, we're gonna dip our tortillas in here when we're ready to make the tacos. That's why I was scared. She had really, she had one cup in her recipe. I was already doubling my recipe, so I was scared. That's why we decided, you know, talking to my husband to Fernando, he was like, no, just go ahead and double it so you have enough. Because it's not something that I want to go back and it's not easy to go back and just oh make a little bit more, you know. So I rather just kind of try to make everything. I mean, she was eating it on some chips, so chips with limon, so that sounded even good. So, si me sobra, pues para eso lo usamos. here so like I said this is what we're gonna use to um to dip the tor um to deep to dip the tortilla in and that's what we're gonna fry it with basically with this oil infused with the chili and all the spices but then also what she likes to do is when you're eating it in the um, in the caldo, like a caldo style, or in the taco, she likes to drizzle it over the caldo. And that just, oh my God. You guys, I'm gonna try to eat these tacos the way she did. She ate them so good. And I'm gonna apologize in advance because it was, it was a party in her mouth. For sure. It was so good the way she was eating it. I'm very like that in general. Like, I mean, like, I'm not the type of person to say a lot of times, like, oh, that looks good, you know? I'm more of, like, the way somebody eats it. Like, I just feel like que se lo comen tan a gusto or tan antojado that that's what, that's what drives me to want to eat, make the recipe or eat the food more than, than just seeing it plated and stuff like that. All right. Well, this for me looks like it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. Um, see, a ver que lo puedo poner, or maybe I'll just leave it here because it'll be actually easy to dip the tortilla in here and take it straight into the pan um, or to the comal. I'm trying to convince my husband to um, to see if we do it outside the tor the tacos because it does get kind of messy because they're in the red sauce and it just splatters everywhere. Um, but it's a gloomy day here where we're at in Illinois and, um, and it's been raining on and off. So I don't know, especially if I go to my mom's, I don't want to make a mess at my mom's house. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. Fed, you want to come and see it? Guys, there's a lot of money on the table with this food <laughs> and a lot of hungry uh, bellies that are going to be hungry if this no me sale. I would say maybe like two, three years ago, I wouldn't have tried this. But now, like, I just, I don't know, like, even las gorditas, I never used to be able to make gorditas de maíz. And like in the last eight months like i can just get up in the morning and say i'm making gorditas and they come out so good it's so bomb and like yeah but it's yeah yeah i can get married for sure for real <laughs> like i've always enjoyed cooking i i like cooking i do it for my family but when it, something comes out really good and you can see it in their faces Oh, that's like the best. That's your payback right there. Okay, guys. So I'm at the hour, almost hour and 45 minutes mark. Um, I do need to, st I should have done it earlier to take out the chiles. Um, but I was over there all excited with my, um, with the chile oil that I was, the chili oil that I was making. So basically this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the chiles out. Blend them using the same caldo from the uh, from what you've been cooking your your carne. In. We're gonna boil that. The chiles that you used to infuse the oil, the chili oil, the extra two. This is um, where you can add them as well. Blend them in here and have them. I, okay. Oh, and so I found. Um, I actually got the name of the. Um, uh, the host of the of the channel of views on the road. Um, so it's Stephanie is behind the scenes. I think she manages obviously the recordings and the editing. Um, and Cloud, Cloud is the one that's in front in the cameras and um, doing the actual cooking. So thank you guys for this recipe. I'm really excited. You cannot wait. Obviously, you want to fish out all of your. Um, all of your chiles that could be in here. We're gonna add, um, like we, like I said, we're gonna add some of the oil from here. Um, and I think I might have thrown out my chiles. <laughs> I think I did. I threw out my chiles, the ones that I was supposed to add in, at this point. Um, I'll be okay. It was a, it was an extra. So I'm gonna take some of the the um, the broth, the beef broth, and I'm gonna add it into my blender. And this is gonna go right back in here. Um, this is also the time where you kind of want to check and see if you have, um, if you need to add um, any more uh, water, boiling water to your broth um, because of the uh, constant boiling, you do tend to lose some of your water. Um, and like I said, the consomme is really important in this recipe because this is what you're gonna take and you're gonna dip your um, tacos in. So you really want this, to, you really want to have a lot of consomme. You want to have, get the rinda because you're going to be putting it in vasitos and then that's where you're going to grab your taco and dip it in. Or if you're going to do it caldo style, you're going to have a piece of meat and caldo. There's not a lot of other stuff to put in it besides your meat and the uh, carrots that I threw in the beginning, but, or, and then I'll keep adding at the end, but that's not, that's, your consomme is the big thing here. All right, so I'm here ready to throw in the, the, the chiles and with the broth. So it's going in there. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that already. Ooh, the cup is really hot too. So be careful guys. Why is it hot? I'm just gonna, I would not need to, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of water just to kind of rinse it off a little bit. I haven't lost too much of my broth. So it looks like it's holding on to its broth really well. Um, but yeah, so can't wait. Look at this. I think I'm headed in the right direction, you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and I put my lid back on again. It's gonna boil for another 45 minutes to an hour. I'll keep test, I'll test it. Um, from the 45 minute mark, um, Cloud recommended that we 
start checking it every 15 minutes um, so that we can keep up with the tenderness of the meat and, and really know when it's ready. I'm gonna use this in between time to finish clean up the kitchen, um, cut up the cebolla and the cilantro that's gonna be the dressings. I already bought my chihuahua cheese, which is very popular here in, um, in Chicago. I have family from Oregon. Um, when my aunt um, would come here, she would, you know, take that back home. Like they are, Chihuahua cheese here is really good. I already bought it um, and I bought it shredded already. So that's gonna go on the taco shredded. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Um, so I have that ready to go. I just gotta cut up the onion, the cilantro and some lime um, that we can put some on, on the calito or on the tacos. So clean up time and um, I'll be back when it's ready guys. Alrighty guys, we're back and this is what it's looking like. Okay, it's literally falling apart guys. So I'm gonna take out a piece. Look at that. I'm gonna take out a piece. Ya, ya está lista, ya pasaron los 45 minutos. Voy a sacar un pedazo, voy a deshebrar poquita y luego vamos a poner, vamos a hacernos el taco, okay? So I had my sack un pedacito. Todo lo que ven es así, el caldito rojo, ese es su consomé. Eso es lo que van a usar para el taco. Ya tengo también acá ya mi cebolla, mi cilantro, mi limón, todo picadito. Listo. Como les dije al principio, nosotros lo que nos llamó más la atención fueron los tacos. Ok, he's gonna try it. Let's go. Echale el caldito. He's not a big fan of calditos, guys. He doesn't like calditos. Ya. With fire. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try it with him. Ay, yo sí lo voy a echar zanahoria. Cala, right? Like, put a little bit at the end. Yeah. But it's good. Oh my God. Well, it looks good. A ver. Mm. Oh my God. <coughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> Stop. It is super good, guys. Super good. Fire. Wow. Cruda? No. Wow. Que te arregle una cruda? Wow. Okay, guys. Next, coming up. Lo que sigue, el taco. Aquí vamos a revolver esto para que no estén los acentos del, del chile que molimos temprano. Que esté todo parejito. Tengo, agarré poquito consomé porque este... Cloud lo mete en el consomé y en el aceite, si me acuerdo correcto. So, vamos a, así. Ay, Fernando, se me olvidó el queso. Can you grab it and open it? Because it is. So, lo estoy remojando aquí en el, en el consomé. O dame el que está abierto y el otro hay que terminarlo porque está abierto. Como les dije, nosotros acostumbramos el queso chihuahua. Entonces aquí vamos a ponerle poquito queso abajo y lo vamos a agarrar en nuestra carne. If you want to raise it up a little bit so they can see. Because it So vamos a ponerle nuestra carne. So aquí está el queso, la carne. Un poquito más de queso. Y un poquito de cebolla y cilantro. Ok. So ahora. Ya me sé cómo lo doblan. Porque se ve así. Mm. 
le va quedando. Clau también le hace un poquito así. Le echa encima el aceitito. Vamos a agarrar una pala. Y ahí va quedando. Sí. ¡Wow! Sí. <risa> Ahí lo vamos dejando. Se va, tiene que quedar doradito como que es, esté frito. Porque si no, este se va a desbaratar. Solo queremos durito que esté bien, bien guisadito. Okay, nomás a que se redita todo. Voy a preparar el consomé. Vamos a echarle otro poquito. No se salpiqueó tanto como pensaba. Fue mucho menos de lo que yo pensé. Le vamos a dar otra vuelta para que estén los dos lados bien doraditos. Miren. Ahora voy a alistar mi consomé. Lo que vamos a sacar. Esto es lo que les digo que tenemos que sacar el caldito de acá. Ok. Asegúrense de que le den que esté bien desde mero abajo. So aquí vamos a echar nuestro consomé. Es, les digo que es un poco, es batidero seguro. Pero, espérense. Vamos a sacar nuestro plato, nuestro taco aquí. Y ahorita regresamos. Ok, so ya estamos de regreso, ya está el, el tester oh. ready. Dip it. Gotta dip it real good. <laughs> Fire. Wow. Oh my God, that looks so good. Me vas a dejar una mordida. Oh, me vas a dejar una mordida. Okay. All right, guys, let me try. Necesita consomé o sin consomé o con consomé o okay. qué? Oh, wow. Uh, Mm -hmm. Fire. Oh, that is so good. Everything that I envisioned when I would see her eat them. Cloud, when you would eat them, this is what I would be thinking of. Mm. Fire. Oh my God, guys. This is perfect. Do you think it's maybe, missing anything? Maybe drink a little bit like you did. Oh yeah, <laughs> también Cloud se lo tomó del vaso. <laughs> oh shit, it's hot. <laughs> do you think, us never eating this before, do you think it's missing anything? No. It's perfect. Fire, I want more. <laughs>